All right. I am so happy to be here with Hiro Boga. I have seen her being uh, mentioned and featured uh, for years now. Um, and it's so great to finally be here with you, Hiro. Thank you for doing this. Oh, thank you, George. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. Well, let me go ahead and share um, your background with, with everybody, and then we'll get into the conversation. So um, Hiroboka is a writer, a business strategist, and a master teacher of transformation and soul alchemy. And for 40 years, uh, she's been uh, you know, pioneering in the field of conscious entrepreneurship, uh, holistic and transformational, transformative business, energy alchemy, and soul-inspired creativity. And she's helped thousands of clients and students uh, in their business in terms of reclaiming the joy and the freedom and success and creative sovereignty. Um, she is an award-winning author of several books and offers beautifully designed self-study programs for creative entrepreneurs through um, what's called the Deva Alchemy Academy. So um, I want to start there. Um, the, the word alchemy and energy alchemy uh, is important in, in what you do. And I just love for you to, to talk about that a bit. And then I, I'm sure I'm going to have some questions for you. So what, what does that mean, energy alchemy? And how does that relate to us business, business owners? Um, well, I, I, I'll start out by saying that the language that we use to talk about what can't be talked about is always a translation. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, when I use the term alchemy, in some ways I use it because it is the closest approximation to what happens uh, when people step into a field where they are bridging the whole of their human ecology from the very essence and subtle energy realms into the very down to earth and practical. And there's, there's an ongoing process of alchemy in that. I mean, that itself is an alchemy. It's this alchemy of us having come out of formlessness into form, into, you know, here you are, George, and there's nobody else like you in the entire universe. And that is an extraordinary thing. And yet at another level, um, there is a place in which we are both expressions of the same sacred spark. Um, so that's one way in which I use that term alchemy is that our very existence is alchemical. It is a transmutation from formlessness into form, from the abstract into the concrete, from the universal into the very personal. Um, and then within that, there is a whole sort of kind of energetic map, if you will, or an energetic reality in which we exist. Um, this is not something that, that I've made up. Obviously, it's something that has been part of, of, of spiritual and mystery technologies and schools for thousands and thousands of years. Um, but there is an, a, a kind of practical set of skills that you can work with, that you can learn and you can practice uh, that allow you to move through, to navigate this whole ecology and all its different parts, which all function differently. They function together, but they have different laws. You know, the laws of physics apply on this planet on we're subject to gravity and time and space. And at the same time, we have access through that universal aspect of our being uh, to aspects of the universe that function according to completely different laws. And so when we know how to navigate, where to apply what skill sets, where to, um, how to live in each of these realities that intersect within us, um, we have the ability 
to do so much more than we are able to do with our kind of limited sense of, of self, right? Yeah, I, I love that um, reminder and that teaching. Uh, yes, yes. It's beautiful, and I love that you weave it together, both the both the soul, the uh, the evolution of it. So that's actually one of the things that you 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 talk about is that there is this soul in our business, um, and I find that very interesting, and and that it evolves, and you kind of have a relationship with it, and that's part of the work that you do with clients and students is helping them relate to that the soul of their business. So. Talk about that, because that, that's not, you know, most, most business teachings don't, <laughs> don't mention that at all. And um, yeah, so what, what's your perspective on that? Well, so much of business, the way that it's done, at least in the West, I, I'm from India, I grew up, I was born and raised there. So I have a different cultural perspective, perhaps. But so much of business here asks that you leave your soul at the door you know, that you leave it outside of the, the reality of your business. So it's not just the soul of business that's not spoken about, it's soul in general that isn't, um, you know, it isn't part of the conversation, mostly in business. And yet, every creation that serves a purpose beyond itself has a soul. Um, and your business is no different. It has its own soul. Once you understand that, you have a partner in your business that knows what its life's trajectory is all about. It knows what its purpose is. And as in any partnership, you know, you come to it with your vision of what you want to accomplish in the world through your business, but that vision cannot override the purpose that the deva or the soul of your business has for its own life because it is a sovereign being and you are in a sovereign relationship with it. So it's much like if you have children, you know this, you know, they come, I mean, we women carry them in our bodies for nine months and they literally come out of our bodies, but they are their own beings. They have their own life. They have their own purpose right from the get-go. And our job is to partner with them for as long as they're in our care uh, to help them establish themselves in this world and to be themselves so fully that they can then take on the task of, of being human. Uh, and it's the same with our businesses. We do the same thing with them. You know, When you understand that your business has its own soul, you don't have to question everything all the time. You're not just relying on your own discernment, on your own wisdom, on your own understanding. You have a partner. And with, within that partnership, you have different functions because the soul of your business doesn't actually have an incarnate beingness. It doesn't have a body until you give it one. So the deva of your business cannot act in the physical world, only you can, which means that you are as essential in the, to that partnership as the deva of your business is. Um, a lot of times people kind of get into this, oh, wow, my business has a soul. Now I'm just gonna ask it to tell me everything and I will just do exactly what it says. <laughs> but it doesn't work that way because it's, a non-physical being. It does not understand human limitations. It doesn't understand that, no, you can't, you know, because it's got this amazing vision for its life, that that vision still has to unfold within the laws of time and space as they operate on this planet and within the limits of your energy and your capacity. And, you, you know, and so it's like any partnership. It's like any relationship. The more deeply that you get to know each other, the more love there is between you, the more each of you is able to function in a way that you couldn't do by yourself. What you create together through the synergy of that relationship, the business that you create has, 
I loathe the word impact, but at the moment, that's the, the you know, it has um, repercussions in the larger world in ways that I do not by myself, you know, I mean, I'm a 72 year old woman born in India, living in Canada and, you know, all of my adult life. Um, and here I am talking to you. Uh, you're in another country, we are on this technology that is absolutely remarkable. And just as this technology allows us to communicate with each other, there is a spiritual technology that lets us communicate with the souls of our businesses. And through that partnership, our businesses can effect transformation, can have an alchemical effect on much larger world systems than we are able to do by ourselves. Mm. So it is a really profound, um, it's a profound relationship. It's a profound co-creative partnership. Um, and it for, for me at least it's been, you know, I mean, I have two children, two young men, they're not ch children anymore, uh, who I would give my life for and yet, this relationship with my business Thema is the longest relationship of my life now that my parents are gone, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, uh, and it, I know it and it knows me better than anybody else in this world. Mm. So that's the potential there if we choose to go there. Yeah. Uh, and maybe you can give us a, a little, a little taste of what is it that you do to connect to that soul or deva of your of your business um, is there like a particular practice that you do regularly or um there are a number of practices that i do i think in, in some ways my entire day and how i live my life um is ceremonial in that way not mm -hmm. not you know it's not i don't i don't burn incense and light candles i don't do any of that but I have a real sense of myself and my soul. And we all do. I mean, we all have this inner knowing that this is the core of who we are. You know, that beyond all the noise and all the obscurations, that there is a pure essence that is the essence of who we are. And if the practice is really to keep returning to that, and to have a daily practice of kind of cleansing and clearing what obscures that. And then from that place, you can connect with any being, whether it's the day of your business or, you know, in preparing for our session today, I attune to the day of your business and to your soul. And, um, and it brought me to tears. You know, just the, the, the depth of love and um, service uh, that is in the field of your business and in the field of your presence. Um, yeah, so if you want me to, I can, you know, lead you through a very short sort of couple of minutes of, of just attuning, you know, I use that, that word attunement. Uh, and it doesn't mean it doesn't mean merging with anything. It simply means entering a field mm -hmm. in which there is resonance between yes. whatever you're attuning to and yourself. So, oh, if, if it's uh, yeah, if it feels appropriate to you, I would love to. And I'm sure the those who are watching and listening would uh, would enjoy it too. Okay. Well, let's do this then. Yeah. Um, so I'm just take a moment and just close your eyes and drop your gaze down into the cavity of your body. Let your presence settle into the back of your heart, just the most receptive space in your body. And let go of everything that you are thinking and feeling just Put it in a big bellied jar in the corner of your room. 
and put a lid on it. It'll still be there when we're finished with this. And just let yourself experience your own interiority, your own soul's presence. Which is the presence of love? And from this place, think of someone or something that you love unconditionally, maybe a person or a place or your business even. And let that love flow throughout your body and out into the energy field around you. And let it flow towards the soul of your business. Invite the deva of your business to come and meet you just outside the boundary of your energy field, which is about arms width all around you. And just let your love flow towards it and let yourself experience its presence the way that you experience the presence of somebody you may never have met before. And yet, you know things about them because their presence speaks for them and speaks of them. Remember, this is a non-physical being. It's not male or female. So don't project your own ideas about what it is or who it is. Just let yourself experience it right now and feel the love that it holds for you flowing back to you, from it to you. And then feel the power and the resonance of the field between you, which is formed of the relationship between you. And from here, you can simply explore this relationship as much as you wish. You can bring to it whatever is in your heart, whether it's about your business or not about your business, because its commitment is to you as well as to its own life. So the next time you find yourself needing to make a decision about your business, something that feels complex and difficult, step into this place in yourself first and then into this place in your relationship with your deva of your business and see what happens. You know, you learn how it communicates with you because it will communicate in whatever way you can hear. So for me, it's like a whole body experience. For somebody else, it might be through words or through images or through sense or sounds or memory or, you know, um, but it's a relationship. So you get to know it and you get to know how it communicates and you can ask it, you know, if, if something's not clear, you can say, hey, I don't really understand what you're trying to tell me. Can you tell me another way? Wow. Can you show me this way, you know? That is beautiful, yeah. Well, you just opened uh, a, a world of possibility, right? For for those who are who are, um, are watching this and listening, and um, it, yeah, so much of business training has been about the sort of like do this, do that, you know, click this, click there, write this, write that, and I love that you are bringing this much deeper uh, perception and well, like you said, relationship and partnership that if that perception and that partnership is there, you know, that's the where, that's where the deep work really is. <laughs> and yeah. that's, yeah. And that's where, and that's where practical. the value. Yeah. 
it is really practical, you know, yeah. if you think about it, sure, if you, yeah. you know, rather than kind of, I mean, I had a, a, a conversation today with one of my staff members and, you know, there are all these books about how to have difficult conversations. Well, to me, it wasn't difficult at all, although it could have been. Um, because it came from this field of love and trust and honoring and respect and nothing is really difficult from that place. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So each thing that you do in your business, you, you have to decide, okay, am I going to partner with this person or that person? Just tune in. The answer is right there. Mm. You know? Yes. It's ah. like once you know what you value, once you know who you are, and once you know what the deva of your business values and what what it is and what its vision for its life is, those things become really straightforward. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have this um, beautifully created uh, playbook, you call it, that... Yes. Uh, gives the prompts and exercises to develop this relationship with your business. And it's called the world of your business playbook. So yes. tell us a bit about this. I'm going to, of course, link to it below and mm -hmm. people can, yeah, there's, there's different places people can get it, but tell us about kind of the, the vision behind this. Um, so I created this, I, gosh, I can't remember when it was at least 10 years ago. Um, and then published it in kind of book form because people wanted an actual physical book that they mm -hmm. could have a few years yeah. ago. And it's, in essence, it kind of walks you through every aspect of your business, those questions that we really should be asking ourselves at the start before we start building this world that is our business. But most of us don't. Most of us kind of stumble into business or we come mm -hmm. in through a doorway of ambition or a doorway of necessity or you know we we come to business from different entry points but ultimately these are the questions that we need to ask like what is my business's purpose why is it here what are its values what are the spiritual qualities or those qualities of soul that infuse the world of my business and how do they show up in the practical day-to-day -day aspects of my business? What is the lineage of my business? Where does it come from? You know, what is the lineage of my craft and what is the lineage of my business? They're both part of, of this world that you're building, right? Um, who are who are the citizens of the world of my business? Who are the people who come and who belong there? and stay there who are the visitors the ones who come and kind of check it out and then leave again because it's not right for them you know what are the pathways through which you welcome them and what is the journey that they experience when they come into the world of your business how are they changed by that journey uh, and then it goes into really practical things how much money do you need to make to keep this world thriving and alive and and vibrant and evolving you know, um, what kinds of boundaries do you need to create in order to protect what is tender and nascent and, you know, emerging as all things are always tender and nascent and emerging at every level, right? Um, so, yeah, this is, you know, my gift from my heart to my world um, to start to think about your business as a living ecosystem and a living entity that you are helping to build and helping to establish and helping to nurture and nourish so it can nurture and nourish the world around you. Well, I mean, it's brilliant actually, because I'm, I hear in some of these things, um, yeah, you're, you're, you're taking some really important questions uh, that that do need to be answered, and you're um, bringing a uh, yeah an artistry to it and um, a soul connection to it that may help those who are more visionary and creative to actually 
engage with with those needed questions and so it's wonderful uh i look forward to checking it out myself of course and uh the link is below and of course i'll have the links to uh your website and, and elsewhere um do you have a kind of a send-off for us as we complete this conversation to those who are who are watching ah i just i i wish you the blessing of knowing that every moment of your life is a miracle and that your very beingness is a miracle and that you don't need to try so hard. You don't need to listen to all the voices that tell you how you should be doing things and what you should be doing and who you should be. Uh, and you can really trust yourself, you can trust your soul, you can trust the soul of your business. And may you go forth and prosper. Mm, thank you. Mm. Thank you. That was wonderful. Well, uh, Hiro Boga, thank you for um, the very deep and nourishing work that you do. And uh, your community is lucky to have you. Um, so folks who are watching, uh, take a look at the business, the world of your business playbook, the link is below and um, check out Hero's website as well. Thank you so much, Hero. Thank you, George. Bye-bye.